All right. Hello, guys. Welcome back to part two of the this video, photographing glass and uh, transparent objects. I did a video yesterday, and uh, while editing, I realized, wait, that's for photographing glass on white. What, what if you want to photograph glass on black? Or if you want to do a, another setup, like something more complicated, more complex. What if you have a label on it? What if you have something, I don't know. What if you need more than just the most basic? Uh, so I'm going to continue now. I'm going to do this part where I'm going to show you how to photograph the same thing, but on, uh, on a black background, clean black background. Uh, and then I'm um, not sure if I'm going to fit it in this video, but I'm going to do another part where I'm going to do like all in, like the most, wh whatever it takes to get the perfect shot. And I'm actually going to put a label on it, on this uh, glass, just so you, you can see what it's like if you need to photograph something that has something on it, like, I don't know, a brand, somebody's, uh, yeah, label, brand, marketing material, whatever. So I'm gonna do now what I'm gonna do. I mean, this is basically where I left off yesterday. I didn't move anything except the camera. And um, is the same glass still here? Same uh, background that you have to ignore. The camera's in the same angle. I just raised the video camera, so that's why you can't see it anymore. Um, but other than that, it's the same, pretty much the same setup. If you don't know, don't know what I'm talking about, just go watch the previous video, you'll understand that. Uh, and uh, you'll see how simple it is to take a clean photo on a, of a glass product on a white background. Now we're gonna do on a black, uh, on a black one. So what I got here, I got the same glass in the same spot on the same glass uh, base here so I can so I don't have any reflections in the glass okay so it's, it gets it gets an even lighting all, all around um, so what I'm gonna do I'm just gonna need one thing here I'm just gonna use it's um, white diffusion material I just I'm just gonna have this as a background I'm gonna shine basically I'm gonna shine light through it you can use, you don't have to use this, okay? This is a bit expensive. You can use like a, one of those five-in-one reflectors, uh, diffusion uh, diffusers. You can use one of those. You can use uh, a soft box if you have one. Like if, if you have, I don't know, like a 50 by 50 centimeters, what is that? Like two by two-ish feet. Uh, you can use one of those. If not, well, a big piece of paper then you can, that, that you can shine a light through. No, you don't see the light. Let me just see how can I, if I can do anything. I'm just gonna use the same light I did yesterday because it has a modeling lamp. Uh, and I'm gonna put it right behind, in between the wall and the um, diffusion material. I'm gonna turn it on. Okay, I'm gonna turn it on. I'm gonna try to aim it, point it at the wall. All right, so that's there. Okay, it's supposed to hit the wall, not the, not this uh, foil. Let me just see if it, if it works. I'm gonna get a preview. All right, so what happened? Okay, right, so I got, the, got a glass there. Now I'm just gonna set the flash a little bit uh, turn the flash a bit higher up in power. Now this, the numbers that I'm using don't really matter. It doesn't matter what kind of, what, uh, what's my camera settings, what's my light settings, whatever. You do, you, you do whatever settings you have on the camera. If you want me to go in another tutorial a bit more deep in the, into the, into these settings, I can do that. Uh, but I'm not going to waste your time now with this. So the camera's set up and I just turned the flash a bit higher up because it loses a bit of power when it bounces into a wall and then comes back through the diffusion material. So I'm just going to do another test. Okay. Let's just see what is that? Yeah, perfect. All right. So now y yesterday I had this black uh, board behind it and just one white board that was covering just enough to, to come out of the frame to cover the product all around. Um, now it's the other way around basically. So I just have that there. Uh, 
and I'm shining the light through it. And I'm just gonna use this black board here with no labels, hopefully, if possible. No, let's just do another test. So I just put the little board right behind the glass, hopefully in the middle. There you go. It's like spot on. I, I basically, I just turned the flash a bit higher up in power. Like, uh, that's it. Like, I honestly don't think there's anything else I can do here. Yeah, we're good. All right, so the results should show up here or there or somewhere. Um, it's easy. Now, the, the camera is looking at the glass. The glass is in front of a black uh, board, but the edges here, these edges, are reflecting this white board, uh, white diffuser on the, on the, behind it. So that's what, what you're seeing in a photo. Those edges are this, actually. And um, if you can afford to put the flash behind it, it's much better. If not, okay, if you don't have this, use the white wall. Just shine the light straight at the wall from a distance and just have this in between. That's about it. One light, one board. That's all you need. Um, you don't need this. Yeah, you can do without it. It's better if you have it. Not this in particular. You can use a five-in-one diffuser or whatever you have or a softbox, but this is good. Without it, same thing, close enough anyway. Doesn't, won't, you won't uh, know the difference, feel the difference. So yeah, that's it. Jeez, I, I wasn't expecting this to, to be so easy. Okay, let's just do another test. So this is on black, yeah, there you go. It's almost like, pure black already so in in photoshop or light or whatever you use you're just gonna have to adjust the curves a tiny bit like maybe i don't know like minus five on blacks and there you go so thank you for joining in and i think i'll do another one uh where i'll put the label try to light it with a more comp complex setup with a bit more complicated more professional no. i'm gonna try this again with a different setup, a bit more uh, advanced setup, where I'm gonna have a label on this, uh, kind of faking a brand, okay? So see you guys next time. If you like this video, if it helped or whatever, don't forget to drop a like, subscribe, whatever, share it with your friends or, uh, and feel free to drop a comment in case you want me to do another tutorial or something else. I'll do my best. See you guys and all the best. Cheers.